Breaking now at 11, four girls, all minors, were stabbed in a Braintree movie theater in an apparent random attack. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Christina Rex. This attack may have been one in a string of incidents. I-team sources say the suspect is believed to be wanted for a murder in Connecticut. That same man is believed to then have traveled to Braintree and Plymouth, allegedly attacking people along the way before his car burst into flames and sandwich and he was arrested. WBZ's Laura Hafley is live in Braintree. Laura, so police had already been looking for this man? If that's right, our WBZ I team sources did confirm that this suspect is believed to be wanted for murder in Connecticut. You're about to see photos and videos of who our I team sources have confirmed is in fact the suspect involved. Connecticut State Police did put out a bolo earlier today describing this person as armed, dangerous, and carrying a knife, a similar weapon to what was used in tonight's attacks here in Braintree. One call right now, uh, possible stabbing. Moviegoers in Braintree forced to run for their lives Saturday night after police say a suspect went on a stabbing spree, attacking four young girls inside of a movie theater. There's going to be more than one victim. I believe there's two or three. This is a lot. Like, I've seen, this is like quite a few stretches I've seen go in. This is not good. According to the Braintree Police Department, all four victims under the age of 17 this were rushed lot. to a nearby hospital this with injuries. The two little girls are crying. AMC employee Nate Lewis was behind the snack counter when the attack began, and he watched as the suspect escaped. I caught like a quick glimpse of like a guy, like he ran into like theater number two, and apparently like he stabbed like a Apparently, he stabbed like a couple of little girls there. I noticed like he was wearing a large, an oversized trench coat, sunglasses, like a long uh, blonde wig. The violence didn't stop there. Police say a short time later, the same suspect was involved in what they're calling a similar assault, but this time in Plymouth. Using surveillance video, a license plate, and a multi agency effort, police tracked down the attacker's car and began pursuing the vehicle which ultimately crashed in Sandwich Saturday evening. The suspect with blonde hair pulled out of the car, placed onto a stretcher and taken into custody. It's so heartbreaking. I think that was the first thing that I'm going to be thinking about the rest of the night is seeing those kids coming down the steps and just crying. And they looked really stunned like they just saw a horror movie, not a kid's movie. The name of the suspect or the charges have not yet been released. The four young girls who were attacked here tonight are expected to be okay. In Braintree, Laura Hafley, WBZ News.